Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and uh, this is the uh, third part of this course, uh, post-processing in TechPlot. Uh, in this session, in this tutorial, we are uh, I'm going to show you how you can add symbols to your charts. Uh, but before starting the video, uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss our future videos. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, please share these videos with your friends and like the video. And if you have any comments. Uh, or questions or suggestions, uh, you can write down in the comment section. Uh, <clears throat> so in the uh, previous video, we uh, plotted these charts. Now uh, we want to add uh, some symbols uh, to this chart, the right one. So we are working in frame two. Uh, you can add symbols simply by uh, selecting symbols uh, from you know the detail from the details or from the tech plot tree. So if I select symbols, you can see uh, there are symbols for each chart. Uh, there's you know, we can see them, uh, and this is the default view of them. But uh, of course, uh, ev almost every time we need to modify these to get the best view of them. To modify the symbols, you should go to uh, Mapping Style and under the uh, Symbols tab, here there are some, uh, you know, details you can change. Uh, okay, so let's uh, investigate them one by one. Uh, this is the name of uh, each chart. You can see them and you can uh, active, active or activate or deactive mm, symbols for each of them. Uh, if you want, for example, if I deselect these options, you can see the, that uh, the, only the case one temperature has symbols uh, right now and uh, uh, the shape of symbols can be changed uh, using uh, you know this option if you right click on square you can see uh, different uh, you know shapes that are available and you can choose or you can also uh, specify a character specify character for uh, displaying on the chart for example, you can change it to Delta. Uh, you can see the uh, modification on the chart. You can uh, choose gradient or diamond, circle, and every, every one of them uh, that you want. Uh, you can specify a character uh, by choosing uh, this option. Uh, you can enter uh, any letter or other characters such as star uh, plus minus and uh, you know equal everything uh, anything that you want uh, you can change it to greek or math uh, if you want to uh, you know have for example something in uh, greek some greek letters for example I can uh, enter here, for example, B. Let's see uh, what we will have in that case. Beta. So if you, for example, uh, enter B as a Greek character, you, you can see you have, will have beta. But I think uh, mm, the main, uh, you know, the most appropriate one could be star or plus symbols uh, or you can use one of these shapes circle you can change the symbol size mm. 
now it's a now it should be square circle you can change the size for example if it's too large you can make them smaller by uh, using by choosing one or 0 0.5 but uh, I think it's too small so I can enter uh, a specific value for example two percent or one point five yeah uh, now all of the symbols are drawn or displayed for us uh, you can change it uh, for example, you can choose uh, the, the distance method or uh, skip method. If you choose skip method, for example, if you select a skip equal to 2, you can see you uh, will have less symbols according to the original data. So, uh, if but if you choose distance equal to 1, it's uh, you know, showing uh, all the data that we have uh, by choosing distance equal to two, uh, you will have uh, symbols in a uh, you know equal distance somehow. Of course, uh, many in many situations, uh, choosing distance method it will results in will result in a better view for your chart or you can specify the index for index skip or the distance manually uh, it depends on your uh, data uh, it depends on the columns uh, it depends on the sorry rows of your data if it's too large if you have uh, you know too many data rows uh, you can choose uh, distance uh, equal to more than you know a number greater than three for example five ten so uh, it's it depends on your uh, data and you should uh, you know change these to get the better view get the best view actually you can change their color uh, we usually uh, choose the same color as the line color but uh, in this way you can deactivate the line so uh, you can have only the symbols if you go to lines tab and deactivate uh, deselect the line deselect show lines option uh, you can change the color if you want uh, you can change the line thickness and these symbols uh, are empty uh, uh, so you can fill them uh, by a specific color or by the line color. color. Uh, if you choose the line color, this color, this red color, outline color will be used uh, to fill these symbols. If you choose specific color, you can choose the uh, fill color. As you can see here, uh, you can uh, have, you can select uh, other charts to show their symbols uh, for example let me decrease the size uh, choose skip equal to 2 and uh, increase the line thickness and uh, fill it with the line color and actually the other one so this one uh, on this line we have symbols but for the first one I deactivated the line itself and as you can see the line legend the symbols are included in the line legend uh, so uh, there is no problem uh, in the legend uh, of the chart and uh, I think that's it uh, yeah mm, I think it's enough uh, for symbols, uh, there is no uh, other option that I uh, that you may use or any specific uh, information that I wanted to say. So uh, 
we can end this uh, tutorial uh, now and uh, in the next uh, session we will talk about bar charts oh uh, I, I can uh, talk about uh, now let me show you how you can save this chart you can go to file export uh, there are different formats png tif uh, wmf as you know the wmf format uh, is a vector format and uh, you know uh, i would suggest you to use this uh, format uh, i always prefer this one because uh, if you zoom on the uh, if you zoom in uh, on the for example your report or your thesis or your paper the quality and the resolution of the picture uh, remains the same as you can see here but you can uh, use other formats if you want uh, when you have multiple frames now you, we have two frames you can you should uh, you know choose a current frame if you uh, want to only have this frame so uh, do not forget to choose current frame uh, let me export this uh, with the name of chart uh, here it is uh, yeah this is the saved picture so if I uh, drag and drop it uh, into you know Word uh, Microsoft Office you can see uh, this is the chart you can increase or decrease the size uh, but uh, that's the reason uh, I told you in uh, the first video I think uh, always uh, you know reduce the size of the frame uh, as you can see uh, this frame has the width of five and the height of uh, the width of six and the height of five and when I uh, import it uh, to Microsoft Word it uh, occupies uh, almost half of a uh, actually more than half of a uh, page so uh, the best way is to reduce size uh, in tech plot uh, you know modify the uh, view of your uh, chart uh, for example the phones the size of the phones the offsets and uh, other uh, you know details uh, because if you uh, you know import the picture into uh, Microsoft Word or uh, other software when you decrease the size of the photo you can see uh, the view of the chart uh, might uh, not be good enough uh, good as you know as the original view that we have in that we had in TechPlot so uh, remember always uh, you know at the beginning of the uh, of your work reduce the size of the frame here uh, in TechPlot and then uh, plot your chart or contour or any uh, thing that you want and then you can export the photo uh, export it and uh, import that uh, into Word, Microsoft Word or something else or PowerPoint or anything else so uh, uh, that's good for this tutorial uh, please like the video if you find it useful and share it with your friends uh, subscribe the channel uh, so you don't miss our future videos uh, about different you know aspects of CFD uh, and uh, until our uh, next video uh, I look forward to hearing from you take care of yourselves thanks for watching bye bye